Hello and welcome, it's your favourite Yorkshire demo here, this is Suzanne at hullabaloo.com and welcome to another in my Simple Sunday series. So today my five items will be slightly different in that this isn't part of a bundle, this is a stamp alone, stamp alone, stand alone set. <laughs> this is just a sentiment set and I wanted to show that a sentiment set doesn't just have to be on its own paired up you know it doesn't have to be paired up with things it can be used on its own um and it doesn't just have to be a, you know just a one single sentiment stamped and then that's that um so i wanted to show you this so this can be paired with the ephemera packs that form part of the um new series that's within the stamping up catalog for 24 to 25 um, however, I've decided to make it part of my Simple Sunday today and we will be making this card with it. So as you can see, I've used the sentiments as a background and as a focal point on the card to wish someone a happy birthday. So I'm going to show you how to make this. If you would like to craft along with me, you will need the Simply Said poly photopolymer stamp sets. So this has got 10 sentiments in there. As you can see, lovely mixture of the fonts, which is how I've used it on the card itself. Memento ink, as always. My colour for today is blueberry bushel. I don't use this too often, so I thought it needed to make an appearance. My usual card base for Simple Sunday, which is half an A4 sheet of basic white thick. And then I've scored it down the centre to so make a tent fold card. My usual normal thickness, three by three, and then I've got a scrap of basic white as well to stamp the sentiment. So we'll do our stamping first. I'm gonna do the sentiment piece first so that we can then pop that to one side. So I'm going to use birthday wishes again, and then set, yeah, try, <laughs> try speaking properly. Let's celebrate in the background. Now, happy birthday you could have done, but I just didn't want to duplicate the, the sentiment. So let's celebrate and birthday wishes. So we'll get these mounted. Um, I think that one. So this is a C block for birthday wishes. I don't think the... G block is long enough no it's not just so I'm gonna no it's really over egging it will that one do that one I'll do let's put it on there that's a um I think that's a D block yes so a D and this is C get our scrap piece and we're using the blueberry bushel and so birthday wishes Nothing too snazzy with this. I'm just going to go straight in the centre because I'm wish you'll see that I've not done a box standard rectangle around this one. I've gone on the on a bit of a diagonal with it. So I'll pop that away now because that's all we're doing with that one. And then on the back here, we are going to do the memento. Let's celebrate. So I'm getting out my grid paper. I'm going to line it up so that it's straight because, of course, doing the sentiment needs to be straight. Um, so we'll get the ink out, pop that over there. And then all I am going to do is I'm going to start centred in the... Let's celebrate. There we go. And then I'm just going to work out from there. So I'm going to offset this one. And then next to it. Now you don't have to be 100% straight with this. That's what the... In fact, yeah, we'll go that side. That's what gives it a bit of a quirk. There 
America. And then I didn't like the ends of the Let's Celebrate begin blank, so I did just pop something in there. And then we'll do the bottom half. And then you're just filling up the remainder of this space here and then we'll go off the bottom slightly. And there we are, we're all full. So we'll pop the memento away, pop that to one side and we're pretty much ready to bring this card together because this is even simpler of the simple Sundays. So the background can go on as it is. We're gonna just trim the birthday wishes ready to go on. Now I like that base, so I'm gonna keep that as it is. And then I'm just going to go just above it and trim off this. If you're not confident that you'll get it straight, then of course get the, get a trimmer out or something. And then I'm just going by eye slightly wonky on both sides look as you'll see it's, I've forgotten what the shape's called is it a trapezium there it's not completely 90 degrees and then that'll go on there like that so let's get our dimensionals out and build this up um, just the normal size dimensionals needed for this I'm literally sticking two on that and we'll put our usual five on the three by three. Like so. Get the backs off them. There we go. And the backs off these ones. Pop them away. Right, so we'll put the back on first. And as I always do, I hover it over the card, making sure I've got a nice even spacing on all the sides. Tag the top one, and then if you can see, you can still do that. Make sure this one's straight, and then press the others down. And then with this, I'm just gonna go as central as I can, making sure it's straight, and there's a bit of even spacing. And there we go. And there you'll have it to very easy very quick in under 10 minutes i've done that birthday cards you can of course mix and match colors and make them suit wear up whatever you need i've gone with a, a blue because most of my cards so far have been quite floral and feminine so here's something that can be more masculine if you have a go let me know in the comments and then i can come and take a look or if you're on any social medias please feel free to tag me in them as always everything that you've seen in today's video is available over on my store hullabaloo.com forward slash shop um, or you can click the description bar below this video either on my blog or on youtube and they will link straight through to each of the specific items and my craft kit that i've used today and as always, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.